This is the introduction video for RTL 4340, Entrepreneurship, and I'm an instructor for this class, and I will have virtual office hours on Tuesdays and Thursdays from 11 a.m. to noon, and for office hours, you can either reach me by contacting me through my office phone, or you can also email me, or you can also set up a Zoom meeting with me. Um, and then I just send you the link to the Zoom meeting, and then you'll just click on it, and it'll open up. And if you would like to do a Zoom meeting, that would allow us to actually um, look at an assignment that you're working on that you may have questions on or anything else, because um, you can share your screen with me. But email is the usually the quickest way to reach me. Um, you can try my phone at other times during office hours that are not during office hours, but I can't promise that I'll answer. Um, but those are the main two ways to reach me for this class. And before we get started and really go through the introduction for this class, um, it would be best to open up the syllabus and either print that and also open up the um, course schedule. You'll want to keep that course schedule because it has all the due dates for all your assessments that you're going to do throughout the semester. So um, that's something handy to have around. I will try to always send down an announcement on Mondays about what's due that week. Um, and announcements are also in Blackboard on a tab along with your syllabus. And the course schedule is under the syllabus tab. The book for this course is Entrepreneurship from um, Steve Mariotti and Caroline Glacken. And um, you can al also get an online version of this book, an e-text um, version textbook, and it is cheaper than the actual textbook. I think it's only like $59. And if you'll look in the Getting Started section of Blackboard, I list out for you um, where you can get the textbook and give you a link to the um, e-textbook. You can also get a used copy of this on Amazon pretty inexpensively too. You will um, need the textbook throughout the semester, especially for your quizzes and um, to prepare you for those and for assignments. So I would get it as soon as possible. These are our learning outcomes for the course. And these are just the different things that we're going to be completing throughout the semester. And this course is designed to teach you what um, an entrepreneur looks like and what all goes into developing a business and what is all needed in a business plan to get funding for your business. So we're going to look at different things that have to do with your management system, your marketing strategies, your operation and control procedures, how do you get funding? Um, how do you analyze your market? And how do you analyze your competitors? And then how do you put a business plan together? So we're going to walk through all those different steps throughout this course. And hopefully you'll have a better understanding of um, how to run a business. So here is our different assessments that we're going to do throughout the semester. So um, first, looking at a chapter assignments, those will need to be submitted in a Word document on Blackboard, and they're going to be due on Sundays at 11.59 p.m. And you can find all those due dates, like I said, are in the syllabus and on the course schedule. And um, assignment files should be named last name and then assignment name and should be submitted with a cover page including the name, course number, and assignment name and date. And assignment should be submitted with page numbers. And all assignments will be evaluated and then um, you can see all of the revisions to those in my grades. So that's also a tab in Blackboard. And under my grades, you can open all of your assignments that have been graded 
and see what changes you need to make and um, any issues you had with grammar or whatever. Assignments should be submitted with page, number, page numbers and all assignments will be evaluated um, before the end of the semester. And then um, so you can go to my grades, which is a tab in Blackboard to see any changes that were specified on there, any grammar issues you had, spelling issues, because you'll use most of your assignments to do your final um, project, which will be a business plan presentation. So it's important to go back and look at the feedback on those assignments. We're also going to do quizzes in this class, and they're going to be multiple choice. And you'll have one for each module, and they're going to cover two to three chapters per module. And they'll come directly from the PowerPoint notes in the book, so it's imperative that you read both of those. And um, just so you know, there's no makeup quizzes. So you must, those are submitted through Blackboard and you take them through Blackboard, and so you just need to make sure you don't miss those dates and times of when they're due. We're also going to do online discussions, and um, they're going to be on a topic given for a certain chapter, and they're going to be under a module in Blackboard. And your original post will need to be 150 words long, and they're going to be due, your post is due on Saturday night by midnight, and then your replies are due on Sunday night, and they're, they need to be at least a 75-word response. And then the last assessment for this class is going to be the business plan presentation. And that's a PowerPoint presentation of the main components of your business plan that you will have completed throughout the semester. And you're going to record um, a presentation where you do a screen um, cast recording just kind of like this video and um, give a presentation on your business that you would start. I also wanted to go over the late policy and then extra credit and um, there won't be any makeup discussions or assignments. You are allowed to turn in your assignments two weeks late for a maximum of 60% of your grade, but um, you're not, you can't get full credit for your grade. And if you're a student representing the university on officially approved trips or for the observance of a religious holiday, please notify me um, beforehand about those. Also, um, for extra credit, there's going to be two opportunities for extra credit in this class. So one, you can attend the retail reception, which is on Tuesday, September 10th at Skyviews, and you will need to register for this event. And then you can also um, write a one-page report on a city other than Lubbock, Texas, where you want to open your business. And you're going to give me five reasons why this is a viable um, city to open your business within. And to find more information on the extra credit, that's listed on the syllabus. And the second um, extra credit assignment will be due the day that your business plan presentation is due. Also, if you happen to be a student with a disability, please make sure that you um, register with Student Disability Services, so they will send me that email so I can provide you whatever accommodations you need. Looking at technical requirements for this class, since our class will be all online, um, all of our course information is going to be found on Blackboard which is ttu.blackboard.com. And some things that you're going to require to have will be a computer with high-speed internet access. Um, you may need Adobe Reader. You'll um, potentially need Flash Player to watch videos. And then you'll need auto, audio and video capabilities to do your final presentation. And then all of your assignments will either be a Word document or a PowerPoint presentation. And 
you're responsible for preparing for any technological issues you have. Um, if your computer crashes, if something else happens or a file doesn't work, um, just know that you can always email me if you have any issues, but try to always back up all of your um, information um, on an external hard drive just to make life easier on you. Also, if we, there's a time that the um, Blackboard server is down, that's something too that I'll give you extra time for if that happens, it happens to happen at any time. And some other things, just know that I will reply within 24 hours to any email you send during the week, and then it's 48 hours on the weekend. So just know if you have an assignment come up, coming up, which they're always do on Sundays or discussions, um, email me during the week so I can actually respond and help you. If you wait till the weekend, I can't promise that I'll be able to help you with things because I do have a life outside of this. And next, so just looking at some expectations that I have for you all in this course, um, you're going to be expected to log into Blackboard regularly and be aware of announcements and reminders, and you need to just pace yourself um, just so you don't get behind in this course, because I have a lot of people that get behind, so it's important to pace yourself. You're going to want to check announcements weekly, like I said, for assignment due dates, but it's up to you to keep up with those dates. I can't promise that I'll always post on Mondays. Um, also, students are expected to maintain an online environment conducive to learning, which includes internet etiquette. So just really think about um, in your email messages, your discussion board post, any electronic communication, um, that we just don't have any offensive remarks in those, or we don't use inappropriate language or inappropriate topics, um, and that we don't use like all caps and no online harassment. I don't feel like we should have any issues, but I just wanted um, to just mention all of that. So from here, you need to go to the Get Started tab in Blackboard, and um, that's going to just kind of walk you through where we're going with this course. Like I mentioned before, this course is entirely online, and you're going to find all your course resources and submit all your assessments in Blackboard. And where you're going to find most of your information is going to be under the Modules tab that's on the left menu bar in Blackboard. And as I mentioned before too, you need to frequently check your um, email and your course announcements within Blackboard for any important messages from me. And so to find announcements, if you go over once again onto the left hand side of Blackboard to that menu bar, there's an announcements tab over there that you can click on. Also, um, there's the instructor information tab and under that tab, you'll find a short video about me and um, how you can contact me. Next is learning modules. So we're going to have four learning modules in this course. And in each module, you'll find required materials, resources, assessments that are going to be due for each module. And then I'll also, there'll be dates that each module opens. So when you go look at modules, you're only going to see the very first one because the other three won't open until it gets close to when you'll need to do that information. So I'm kind of trying to um, regulate everyone throughout the course and that we all kind of stay together. Course assessments, we already went over those. Those are the discussion posts, the assignments, the quizzes, and the business plan. Um, presentation. And the points for those and the due dates can be found within the course syllabus and the due dates are also on the course calendar as I mentioned. And don't forget about my grades which is also a tab over there on the left where you can see um, your grades 
and you'll also be a total there that'll kind of show you where your grades are overall. And also don't forget all submissions must be submitted in a Word document. Um, so make sure to format that correctly. And your business plan will also be as a PowerPoint presentation. So last, here's a little to-do list of what you need to do to get started. So first you need to complete the student um, introduction under um, getting started. Then you need to read through the getting started material. Then you need to click on the course syllabus on the left menu bar and read through it and take the syllabus quiz. And if you take the syllabus quiz, you can use that in place of one of your quizzes under the modules. And let's just say it's a lot easier quiz than those will be. You also need to view the introduction video that's under instructor information. And you also need to do the um, discussion that's under um, the getting started tab. You also need to look at the required textbook for the course and then click on the learning modules on the left to just kind of see how the course works and to get started on the course. And that concludes our introduction video.